good morning everyone it's Thursday uh, back to work for Kevin today and obviously the kids are still on holidays for I think it's got another two months I'm not sure at Christy when her TAFE course starts so um, I'm sort of back in kind of work mode but I'm gonna try and just maybe do some jobs in the morning we'll see how we go but sorry interruptions Chris is actually down at the moment picking up some groceries <laughs> and I wasn't able to order everything because it must be quite out of a lot of stuff and quite a, and I said can you go in and try and get the extra things thinking they might have been out on the shelves by now but they aren't so um, we'll probably have to make another trip tomorrow we've made some extra fruit and stuff that we wanted but obviously we can manage today without it um, but yeah that's where Christy is doing that for me and I'm about to have my breakfast, which is um, overnight oats with, I think it's some frozen mango and some frozen blueberries in there. Oh, I should have asked, no, I think I ordered blueberries. Yeah, I did. Tell me what I ordered. <laughs> um, pickups are great. I don't really like using their plastic bags. Maybe once I get back to doing it, I could actually just, because you actually can pack them yourself, but with Mars and Kevin or Christy to go and do that, I feel like it's, you know, not really an extra step that they put up we want to do. We can we use quite a few of the bags which we do and obviously then we take the extra ones back to be recycled there. So we're not sort of totally wasting them but again trying to reduce plastic. It's um there's so much of it. So I guess it, even if we could we probably have half the plastic that we get so I guess that's something. <laughs> Still way too much I know but we try. We try hard. <laughs> I know we could do better but you know I guess it's a kind of a baby step thing <laughs> and I have to also do what sort of fits in with my health and at the moment I wanted to do some food prep this morning so going to get groceries and packing my own was would have worn me out probably and that would have been that. I also had hoped to do some exercise but I bailed on the exercise um, this morning. <laughs> it's not feeling brilliant and I just don't want to feel worse and like usually I feel good after a shower not feeling so crash hot now so i will get my food prep done even if it takes a day that is fine i had wanted to start pulling apart like the christmas tree and stuff and i might get to that but they'll come after food prep because food prep does require being on my feet again i haven't probably got a lot to prep but um especially should have to get grab the extra things that i wanted i was about to hop in the shower when christy said i'm going now send me the list so if we get bananas, that'll be good because I couldn't even order bananas. Uh, dog meals are the priority today and probably making up a salad. I should do me for a few lunches, at least today and tomorrow. And why do you want for, I'll probably make up a big salad and I'll probably have a salad over the weekend sometime. Oh my gosh, it's hot. We have no plans this week at all. I don't know what my next even plan is. Not for weeks, I don't think. Um, so we're just, we're just taking it a day at a time. I have not been feeling as great the last few days as I was the first few days back from holidays. But it's probably to be expected it's hot. Um, food's not too bad, but again, it's not as good as it should be, so it's something again to work on. But I really didn't overdo it over Christmas because we don't have a lot of vegan treats around, but I have had some biscuits. Christy won't have had a vegan cookie, so I've sort of been eating them over the last few days. Oh, that's so hot. The air conditioning's on, but the fan going in there. I'm gonna go sit back in front of it and cool down some more. I had a lovely swim last night, and I was hoping to take Coda back in the pool today because he loved it. He hops in by himself now down the stairs. He just loves it. So if I do, I will be sure to take the GoPro out so you can see him in action because he's, yeah, we're so happy he loves it because it's such good exercise. And my two Goldens do not like the pool. They love the lake and the ocean, but not the pool because they fell in on the first day they both arrived here, which was years apart, mind you. But the very first day they moved into this house, they both fell in the pool. So they've never been keen on the pool for <laughs> Kodo. Has not fallen yet, so that is good. Anyway, breaking in tea, cool down. Okay, you're probably gonna have to get used to a sweaty, shiny face through summer, which is probably my tea. And one other thing I did yesterday, we actually sort of sat and looked at weekends away, including Easter and things like that. So we planned out um, a few motorhome trips and also just an overnight in Canberra. That's at the beginning of February, which actually works out to Kevin's birthday weekend. So that's going really nice. Actually, something sort of special for his, even though it's not for his birthday, it's over his birthday. So it's 
kind of for his birthday. There's an exhibition on Rome um, down in Canberra, and it's also from the British Museum. So obviously, we are all really keen to see that. So the four of us are going to that. So that'll be nice. That'll be like a gosh, that'll be the first time we've had like a family trip away for a while. We sort of talked about taking Ellie, but kind of be nice just to have the four of us just because only overnight so that will be nice to see how that goes <laughs> hopefully it goes well and then the next day we sing a musical back here with ellie anyway so um yeah so we booked that um kevin and i had gone away just um sort of remote camping for the long weekend just to set ourselves in the end of january and then we've got that the next weekend and then we've got you know we'll do something else end of March we're doing a weekend up back up to Gosford to the plant-based festival up there again Ellie will come to that and Athena who's just a home look after the dogs and then for Easter which is like a month after that we're going to Christie and us Karen and myself we'll go down to the snow like we did the snow mountains there won't be any snow but we'll head back down to the snow mountains or Kosciuszko National Park like we did last Easter for the couple of days there because we really enjoyed that it's a long way to go kind of to not do a lot of stuff like we didn't do much stuff last year if the health is better if i'm feeling good we can do walks and stuff or just obviously depending what we all want to do like kevin said is there any closer and i've had a look and i just can't really find anything closer again if any of my fellow aussies know of any sort of place if you watch the vlog from last year, it was just like a nice campground. It was very open, like you weren't parked on top of each other because then they have like 15 of these campfire spots. So it was not crowded. We don't want to go on the coast because the coast at Easter is just crazy. Crazy busy and getting home and getting there is just so much traffic. But it's sort of anywhere else sort of heading away from the coast that you know of that sort of has campfires and nice... I did come across, I think, where was it? Oh my gosh. There was somewhere else that sounded kind of okay, but it looked like a kind of a big fishing place. So I thought it might be sweet busy, but they did have campfires. I don't know the National Park though. So again, if anyone knows of anything like Kosciuszko National, Kosciuszko Tourist Park, I think it is, let me know, because obviously it's a five hour drive, plus five hours to plus down there, but it's probably a bit slower. But we'll split it up, say at Canberra the first night, and then have three nights down there and it's good again because they let you have three nights a lot of places at easter it's a four night minimum anyway just wanted to update you on those sort of trips that we have planned out kevin has also got a dive trip away at the beginning of april for just over a week and i'm probably going to go to queenstown with him for two weeks in march so there's quite a bit on actually in the next couple of months so we're not gonna and we've got musicals and theater shows sort of booked in as well so quite a bit of a full year then last year uh, which should be nice a rather bit headache now so I'm going to take some Panadine and hope that it will go away finish my breakfast and I'm actually going to get the doggies stuff started I think so their food can cook and I can deal with all that and then I'll um, get my stuff washed up later on in spite of my very good intentions I'm still nursing quite a nasty headache right, at least the dog's dinner is done 
I think I'll dish it up now. If I can find containers, I think most are in the fridge. I might have to re move the stuff around in the fridge. And I can get this out and into containers to cool down. This is something done. I might try and wash the lettuce while I'm here. Oh, I don't know if I'm a bit nauseous too, so yeah, I've got a kind of migraine or even. As you can see, we've resorted to shutting half the door. I haven't had to do that for ages, so not good. <laughs> Fortunately, my headache has not gone anywhere. It's pretty bad. I'd say it's bordering a migraine. I'm really not feeling great. But I'll go as you got to get my camera so I can download it. But I need to do something more with this kitchen. I'll show you. I'm going to try and get the fruit washed. I've got to put away the soybeans. I thought I was going to be cooking chickpeas today. Because um, I soaked them overnight, but I thought I was soaking chickpeas. It turns out they were soybeans that they had bought for Coda to have. So I'm going to bag them up and freeze them for my dogs because she just. The nurse now cooks them in the slow, in the pressure cooker when they're cooking the food for Coda. So I think this is probably cooled down enough now to go in the fridge. Yep, it has. Well, this is ready to go. I'm going to tidy up. Deal with the rest of this. In case my head gets no better. It's a beautiful day outside today. It's really warm. It's got the aircon on inside. But yeah, I cannot fall asleep on the couch too. I mean, it probably would have just been good to go for a sleep, but. I don't like wasting time sleeping during the day. Maybe good for my head, I don't know. I'm gonna do with this anyway. I'm having my little tripod out so you can make sure I do my jobs. <laughs> Coda can actually, ba Bailey, uh, 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 not you. Bailey's, not ba hey, Bailey. Please. Coda has worked out the doggy door. Good boy. Coda, come here. Good oh, boy. What a good boy. He's a good boy. Go side. Come on. Good news. Don't quite say it. Bailey. Yeah, that's oh. fine. Rosie let him out. Oh. <laughs> Bailey let him in. Bees. Bailey. I was ruining everything. You better get that. I went through the doggy door too. Go oh. I went through okay, but I'm a good boy. I'm through. You didn't even get it. Oh. I did. I filmed him the first Go time. No, 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 no. Come here. Oh, <laughs> what a clever puppy. Good boy. Mm. Come here. Bailey. 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 Oh my god. Now where are you coming? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, you are not. My gosh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can see him. What a clever puppy. Come here. No, you're going to see any good boy. Come here. 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 Come Someone didn't get put to bed last night and they had a party. Luckily, this is what Fuzzy used to do. At least they weren't edible, his 
had fun with some putty and the remains of a Malteser box which I hope oh my god no there's also one under the table as well <laughs> what a naughty little puppy I don't think they food in there hopefully Chris you've eaten the Maltesers and just left the box what else is this little rascally done last night? My goodness, Jesus Christ, these glasses. <laughs> well, we've been up on benches, you can tell, up on I'm trying to get things down. What a rascal. Didn't go into those things, luckily. Well, they donate bags, I think, anyway. I was not expecting that when I came down stairs. What a scallywag. He's a golden. Uh, I probably look frightful because I slept with my hair up in a bun last night because it was so warm. I tried to put him in with the thinner last night when I went up and he didn't want to go in. He actually ran down the stairs. He actually ran down the stairs so I couldn't get him. He said that too far. <laughs> Here, Rosie. Can you go out the other door? I'll go out the other door a second ago. I've got to go check Curtis back in. I don't think he can get in. I think he's followed Rosie out. I know Bailey might be out now. He's pretty good with the doggy door, as you saw yesterday. I saw Bailey get past. Oh, he was there waiting. He was there waiting for Bailey. <laughs> You're waiting for Bailey to let you back in. Or well, someone will let you in. You can do it, you know, you little rascal. I hope you didn't eat chocolate last night, Coda Bear. Hmm. I don't know there would be much left. I don't know there would be anything left in there somehow. Pretty sure Chris had me the other day. Oh, now they want out the other door. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to have my medication. <laughs> Wake up. I was awake for a few hours in the middle of the night last night, so I am a little bit tired and zonked. And I think Kevin's been, I think I went back to sleep about 2.30. I think Kevin was awake. Yeah, he was awake when I went to sleep. I think he's been awake since. He's already gone in the shower to <laughs> go to work. So he's been, he's very tired. In fact, he's really trouble sleeping again, which is been good. Well, I am up, functioned, up in a shower. I just went in the game, <laughs> so hot. Went to the, pot, the dog poos, made my bed, tidied my bedroom. I was gonna tidy up my vanity, and I won't get to it today, but eventually I'll show you guys. I decided probably a good opportunity, rather than just put everything new away, to have another go through. I, can improve it. I know there's some things in there I've decided I didn't want, so go through, do a bit more declutter, and then put the new stuff away. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing with the Christmas decorations as well because there's quite a bit of stuff we didn't use. So have a good look at it, see if it's something that I really want to keep because obviously it made the cut last year when I did the big Christmas declutter. Um, if I remember, I'll try and link that below, but I did a big Christmas declutter last year. I got rid of probably, I don't know. If we don't exclude my Christmas village, you probably got rid of half of the other decorations. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Um, so, but I still got a lot and I still, uh, still didn't put out a lot of stuff because each year I really want less out. Plus, if we're away for the month, I don't want out, but the, there might be stuff the kids want. And I did that last time, let them pick anything they wanted, particularly Athena, who's looking at moving out, hopefully in a year to two years time. So let her pick whatever Christmas decorations she wanted from what we had. But yeah, I think I can't get to it today. I brought down the box of ornaments to what didn't get from the tree. I'm gonna go through them, have a look at them, and then try and get the ornaments off the tree and the tree put away today. Then I can give the, the lounge room a really good vacuum and at least one room's kind of put back together. I've already taken the stockings down and put the cushions away. So it's a bit noisy. I've got Athena's practicing Spanish in the lounge room and Christy is talking to an online friend. They're building a Lego kit. Christy bought them one each for Christmas and they're doing it together online. So I've got surround sound noise today, but I'm having my brekkie, just some more overnight oats that I went out last night. Another cup of tea, cool down. See how I'm feeling. I think it's gonna be a, I don't think, hopefully I won't get as bad as yesterday, but we'll just take a bit of the time and see how I go. 
Okay, I'm up. I'm going to, while well, I'm boiling the kettle, which I'm not in the background, I'm going to clean up this floor and under the table in there and then I might drag out the vacuum and at least get this room sort of put together. We'll see. Okay, I can see a plastic bag over there that I can use for the rubbish, so that's good. I managed to get a few things done then. I've taken the tablecloth off. Actually, this has got to go back in the kitchen. Um, I vacuumed. Didn't do a thorough vacuum like all around the dining table. I've done this area just with a little Dyson. And I have vacuumed here. Once the tree comes down, I'll probably need to vacuum that corner again. But looks a lot better. I do need to find the blanket and put it back on that couch for the dogs. And I also swapped the tablecloth over there. Took the Christmas one off and put a summery one back on. And the vacuum died, or didn't die, it ran out of charge, so I haven't had a chance to... So I've still got to vacuum the kitchen and the toilet. Well, Chris, you just come through to show me what she's working on. I already said you were building a Lego with your friend. It's actually a Dan that... I thought I heard Christy say something about Bill and Dan from like Dan and Phil, if you guys don't know who they are, <laughs> famous YouTubers. Um, but yeah, she, Kirsty said you designed it yourself, is that must be an online place or something, is Yeah, it? there's a program you can get that does it, and then you just order the pieces. It's proper Lego. Mm -hmm. It's cool. And I said, did you get instructions with it? And she said, no, the conduit you can, but you just winged it because you designed it, so you knew what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. That's why it took three hours to build. <laughs> It's pretty cool. I didn't know you could design your own Lego things. Mm. Still got Phil to go. Oh, you got Dan and a Phil. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh, keep you out of trouble today. Are you doing that today or another day? Another day, because it's like quite late for yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it's my iPad. It's not supposed to, it's yeah. supposed to be stupid. Yeah, but like, it's, a good boy it's the controller as well. Like, I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah. I'm gonna sit and do jigsaw puzzle. These we're gonna want over there. Um, I can't remember. I haven't even showed you the haul yet, but I ended up buying these 300 piece ones, which are bigger size pieces, as you'll see. And I thought that those ones were the same size, but they're a smaller piece. But they're only a 500 piece puzzle rather than a thousand, which is what you often get with that size puzzle. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've got the big puzzle pieces to work with. And I'll probably watch some more YouTube because I am slowly, slowly getting through. Oh, that's actually I'm working on photos then. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm going to go back to YouTube and watch some YouTube while I am working on my puzzle. Curtis has been for a swim. He's a rascally one. That's why he looks like a scribbles. Oh. Did you try you? That wasn't funny. 
butt and fuzzy from up high because you were holding him. Oh, he's jumping up. I'm not going to end well if I try and do that. <laughs> you, I might try to when I come down. <laughs> he's a frisky puppet right now. After his <gasps> swim. Whoop. Let's come back. Whoop. Here we go. <laughs> Poor Coda. <coughs> Bailey, no. Come here and play the carpet with Coda so he doesn't slip. What are you doing, Rose? Come in here, Bailey. Bailey, come here. <coughs> come here, Bailey. <laughs> like, What's happening? <laughs> Getting attacked by the crazy pup. Oh. Noise all noises. Guess what? Nothing. Feeling great this afternoon. Headache again. Not as bad as yesterday, but. To have to make dinner but I'm trying to feel good enough to do that so I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner the and well, Ellie's over and another kid um you know I've been practicing for the drama thing they're doing on New Year's Eve I think I talked about that already I'm pretty sure I did um so I don't know like I think we'll do pizza we had pizza the other night for, for Christmas Eve so I don't know I think I've got some gnocchi maybe Someone can cook it. Just so achy, my arms achy, my teeth hurt, my legs hurt. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Oh, I should be coated crash into the chair. I'm back being a little frisky papa again after his swim. Oh, you meant him. You're a frisky papa. 